MMS is a true orchestrator for different kinds of machine shop production. It is able to plan, run and monitor various kinds of machining processes. This also means that MMS collects a lot of data about various production events to its database. Every pallet transfer, NC program end or part completion is automatically saved to the MMS event history. In MMS version 8, we are harnessing all this data to create even more value to our MMS users. Therefore, Fastums is very proud to introduce the new MMS tool for data visualization and reporting, which is called the MMS Insights. The idea in MMS Insight is to process and analyze the collected production data and provide valuable tips and highlights for the user to support daily decision making. MMS Insights serve as a starting page for MMS Data Manager. This gives users a possibility to very easily check the most important KPIs of the production when opening the MMS. Examples about the data which MMS Insights provides are, for example, which cutting tools tend to break down or wear out the most often, or which NC programs have lasted longer than expected. There is also a separate menu for productivity tips that are based on the analyzed data. These tips help the user to note possible problems from the production process. One of the core elements of MMS Insights is the visibility to both directions on the production timeline. The user is able to see reports on visualization that are based on the data collected from the past production events. But in addition, there is also visibility into the future. How will the production status look like, for example, for the upcoming 96 hours of production in the future? What will be the machine utilization or how many parts we will actually be able to machine? MMS Insights is a standard feature of MMS version 8. It means that every MMS user with the version 8 gets the chance to enjoy the visualizations and benefits of this new reporting tool. The MMS Insights provides also a platform for Fostum's future data analytics development. We are, for example, at the moment investigating how we can utilize artificial intelligence or AI for analyzing the data. So, stay tuned for that.